to quickly here copy this and paste over here. I was hoping this would kind of give me, oh, that says commands, so this should be PM. Um, again, I'm doing the create parent, which I need to do later. So I'm going to create an arm control, which is a group delete point constraint. So it's going to snap to the wrist, which I haven't created. So I will come up here wrist equals wrist. Um, so I still need to do this create parent. So that'll be my next task as soon as I do this. IK, so snap it there, create a point constraint to the IK handle. So the IK handle, so a lot of times people will parent the IK handle under the control. My desire is to have the control curves that the animator selects. I don't want anything parented directly under them. Um, I just like it being clean like that to where the it just is, uh, you know, that hierarchy, like I could go into that hierarchy in an outliner and quickly and easily select and key everything from there without accidentally removing or doing something with the uh, IK handles or something. So I just want to keep that control structure as clean as possible. I know most animators don't use the outliner and they just select everything visually. Um, I'm just a little different minded at that. And I just really want to keep that clean. If you have a good way of keeping that clean, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, again, this is for me to learn by my mistakes or why doing it one way. Um, if it's just preference, then it's just preference. But if you find that like everybody prefers it this way, you know, you can do it differently, but generally speaking, this is what everybody's used to and they're gonna wanna see it like this. Uh, I need to know those things. And uh, instead of bugging like the one or two people all the time with these questions that I have, Here's a chance for one or two other people to answer those questions if those one or two people are even ever watching this. Um, so, PM point constraint, orient constraint, but this is going to orientate the control to the uh, rig joint. Right, selected joints negative one. So negative one is the last joint selected. Replacing rig format IK. So this is actually going to orient to the IK joint. I thought about orienting it to the rig joint itself, but I kind of wanted to keep that consistent. I don't know if that's right or wrong, or if there's a better way to do it. Again, that's my question. Um, and I will get into this at another point. I think what I'm going to do right now, uh, just to test this out, is going to be uh, where did it go? I'm just going to copy my thing, my uh, create parent. Here we go. I'm just going to copy it right now into here, and actually, I'm going to have to make some changes. But I'm going to parent. So this is my create parent script. I don't know why I import my commands as commands for this. I think if I go to PyMel, some of these commands aren't going to work. So I think I did this at one point. So maybe that's something I can do. But so for this, I'm going to import my commands as commands. Uh, so it basically creates a list out of whatever's selected. Uh, oh, type transform. So this actually won't work for joints. Uh, I don't remember. So list the relatives. Uh, oh yeah, if it's equal to joint, do a joint. If it's transform, do a transform. Although I think if I say this, then it's never going to be a joint. So that's weird. Um, 
and it basically just creates it, snaps it there. So I'm just gonna leave this as it is for right now. And let's come up here and see how I messed this up. All right, got my three joints selected. This script has been saved and I will run it from here. Holy underwear, I did not screw it up. So here's my left arm control. Look at that. Zip zap zooey. So it's pulling the rig with it, which is in turn pulling the bind skeleton with it. Pretty awesome if I wanted to. So left arm FKIK, if I switch this to zero, then, and I have all my control groups here, you can grab my elbow, uh, take this to object. So my elbow bends here. And if I come back to this, I can switch. Right. So switches from FK to IK. And so instead of me now having to come up with, you know, sit around as I have been doing and doing all that stuff by hand, bada boom, bada bing, run it, everything. Now the right side is set up. And that's a IKFK switch. And then I'll get to the controls later. Uh, and maybe I'll come back to my create parent. But, phew, right? And so all these things are zeroed out, right? The transforms are all stored here in this control group. And then I have the controls. So the control group is kind of the offset group um, that I can store values in. I could create another one if I wanted to have this group be zero and have an offset group or something. So, uh, you know, if I would, actually, let's look at it here. I think I have it, uh, create parent. And I'm actually just gonna move this down over here with my new ones. I'm gonna edit this, change this to Python. Copy this into here and change this to create parent. And it did that thing again. I don't know what's up with that. So I'm just going to copy that in there. Uh, so I changed that to Python. I'm going to save all shelves. And let's see. So let's, I don't know. Does it work on the joint? Let's see. Yep, joint group. So it added a group there. Uh, which is as a joint, I don't want that. But let's say, you know, I want, for some reason I want another offset, something, something here. I'll just create that. It's gonna create group one. So maybe I can do one if group exists, call it offset. I could add that into the thing. But I, still I can do it, create a group really easily off of something. And that's my dog, and that means it's time to go. So it's gonna be group, group, 